for this. I wish I had canola oil. I really don't like vegetable oil, but I'm doing. I'm working with what I got. So anyway, so just enough oil to bottom your pan. And you put your half a stick of butter. Put it in the oven. Let that melt. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Okay, we're gonna make us some corn tea bread. Cornbread. Remember that song? Cornbread, hog mugs, and chitlin. Oh, beep, beep. I like chitlins too. Ooh. If my brother see this here, he probably shivering like, ooh. He call it mystery meat. Y'all probably doing the same thing. But this is the only thing I measure when I'm using stuff for baking the cakes and stuff. I measure. So it's two cups, okay? Right? Then you take the egg. Let me get the egg. And you're going to beat the egg up before you put it in the batter. Medium sized egg, like so. No salt, no pepper. Wait a minute. And we're going to beat that egg up. Beat it up real good. You ever notice how people on cooking channels, they be so prissy. They got a cup of this, a clear glass of this. I ain't got time to be cute, but I'm putting a lot of love in it. <laughs> Our lady Lisa said, don't blame your brother. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you, Lady Lisa, huh? I know I need to cut it out. I know. <laughs> I'm telling my brother Salam, he would be like, I'll get a phone call. Uh, uh Cindy, what, what, what's that you doing? That's mystery meat. <laughs> yeah, ain't about a month. None of them are. Okay, right? So, in you go. Right, so... Now, I told you I'm going to use almond milk, right? You can use whatever you like. I'm going to use almond milk, okay? Now, I want to take and pour my uh, oil and stuff. Some That's not ready yet, so let's get the beat on. Now, this, when you, like, if you're making cornbread, you know you're not making a cake, right? So, you know you don't use all that kind of milk, right? This, I don't measure. I watch the consistency, okay? So, be careful with that. And I'm going to, uh, I had to shake that up a little bit. So, I just watch the consistency of it because I know that I have to pour that oil and that butter mixture in here too, right? So, I just be very careful, right? I know I'm going to need some more, but I want to wait until that oil comes out. So, right? And I might not need any more, actually. You see that? telling me I might not need any. So let's see. And it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Clean as you go, folks. Clean as you go. Let's take a look in here. Let's see what we're doing here. See how nice that is? See what happens when you don't use the water with that tomato paste? I keep telling y'all, stop doing it. Especially if you're making your pasta. How do you think the pasta going to stick? The, I mean, the sauce going to stick to your pasta. It ain't. It ain't going to happen. Because you put water in with that tomato paste. Now look at that. That's how that's supposed to be. Thick and rich. You can use ground turkey. A mixture of that. Um, some people do sausage. And all that stuff, right? You can jazz your pot of chili up. Art wanted to mix up. What did you say, Art? What did you want to put in here? I think, what did you want to mix in here? He said something about some sauces. And, uh, I was thinking about putting some pork sausage in He was thinking about putting some pork sausage in there. They're going to kill us about this pork, Art. Whisper it next time. Don't say it loud. 
But yeah, he wants to do that. But this is a simple meal. I don't know why people complicate making a pot of chili. I, I don't get it. There's so many different ways you can make it. You can make it vegetarian without the beans and stuff, you know. Depends on, you know, how you're eating, how you like to eat. I'm working on being more healthier. I'm truly working on being. Harold trying to get me to stop eating everything. I have a coach now. And Harold trying to get me to stop everything overnight. I said, whoa, I'm going to go through withdrawals messing with Harold. All that came in. All right, so anyway. Let's see if we are ready. Oh, we almost there. I'm gonna just keep stirring this stuff. Cause I got a feeling once I pour that mixture in here, ooh la la la. Okay, so I'm gonna put the top back on here and let that do what it do. And then I'm gonna add the beans in sh shortly after I take care of that. So remember, um, if you can, start using your fresh herbs and stuff that you cook with, okay? Because it's all so healthy, and you'd be surprised how that makes your food taste so good. I grow my thyme, my rosemary, uh-huh. This here is homegrown oregano. And when you're making your red sauce, put some cloves in there, some allspice. Put that up. When you're making them red sauces, when I tell you to use these two, huh? Two cloves and maybe about four pebbles. Jamaican allspice. When I tell you about this, you're going to say thank you. Guarantee you. Learn how to bring out the best out of whatever you make, okay? That's because you want to put a lot of love into it and take your time with it. Don't rush anything that you're doing. Because, you know, haste makes waste. You already know that. Okay, let's see. Come on, I'm anxious to get this out of here. I'm hot. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. And be good. Okay, you with me? Okay, you see that? Now you see it, now you don't. Leave just a little bit in your pan. Just a little bit. Okay, and here we go. Here's the magic. There we go. And that's all to it. And it has the best taste. Be careful with your milk. Be careful how you measure. Huh? Would you stay my mind? I can't wait to, for me. I'm going to do some showing off tonight. That's right. A little bragging. I keep picturing our church in my mind. I keep seeing all that purple and that gray up in there. Oh, when I show y'all our new sanctuary, huh? Y'all know I talk about good one all the time, and I ain't stopping. I'm just saying, I got an attitude about that, and I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> Praise your church, too, right? Y'all know about Action Jackson? Huh? He got my husband coming to church. <laughs> Heaven Altoona, Art when Holly come to church. Until we came to Goodwin. Huh? He do Sunday school. He on the choir now. Huh? And he always talking about Pastor Eric. We gave him a nickname, Action Jackson. You see him when he up there, right? And, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and then he give that look like, I told y'all, don't mess with me. He put it down. There we go. So now we're going to put it in here. My oven is on 400, by the way. It's on 400. So golden brown. If you don't know how to test and see if your cakes or your, your corny bread is done, you still got toothpick in there. If you don't have a toothpick, stick a fork in it. In the middle. I want to get all this out of here. Okay. So, and that's the end of this. I'm going to put these beans in there. Right? I'm going to put this in the oven now and let it do what it do. We know that ain't Jesus, so I ain't even going to answer it. Oh, that's my mom in law. That Miss Myrtle. 
Yeah, we'll see you on set. But the game, oh, yeah. they Buffalo Bill fans, and the Buffaloes wasn't playing good. So, Mama's going to be talking about that. Okay. Here are the beans. Whee, doggy. There are the beans. See that? Mm-hmm. And I am going to put some more beans in here. Hold on. We're going to do some more beans. I want it nice and hearty. So, we're going to go with Goya. Oh, boy. I'm going to rinse these off. Make sure you rinse the starch off of these guys. Okay, rinse the starch. Sure, you rinse the starch off. There we go. All right. That's a rap a tap tap. That's a nice big old pot, ain't it? Mm hmm. I'm going to freeze some for my kids when they come up. They'll be here, I think, next week. My boys and, I, and all my eight grandbabies. Yeah. Got eight of them, y'all. And I love them like nothing, like nobody's business. To the moon and back, over the, whatever. They get anything they want from Nana. Yeah. And they usually do. Okay. So, that's the rap tap tap That's all to it, right? So I ain't going to keep you because I want to get upstairs and I want to post. I want to show you out the sanctuary. And I want to share the services with you guys. And the choir and... Nice. Hi, my favorite brother-in-law. <laughs> he in there talking to his mom right now, Sharon. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Oh, here's something else I wanted to tell y'all. If you go to my YouTube page, Percent the Dems, I don't do this for money. But I want to get um, a free ad, like, you know, before my video comes on. If you guys can go to my page... And hit the subscribe button. It'll help me not have to pay for that little bit of ad that they're going to give me, okay? So, just subscribe. And again, I told you, I don't do this for the money. I do it because this is what I like to do. It's my therapy. And it's, it's helping you to learn some stuff, too. And then we do table talk, kitchen table talk, where we sit. We talk about any and everything. I had Reverend Humphreys over as my guest um, last week. And uh, she took us in scripture and stuff. It's not all religious, okay? But we got to put God in there. Without him, who are we? So you got to give some props, okay? And no unnecessary mess. Don't bring that to my channel. Don't bring that to Kitchen Table Talk. I don't like that, okay? But we want to lift each other up, right? And we want to empower each other. That's what Kitchen Table Talk is about, all jokes aside, okay? So if you got that mess with you, don't bring it because you know I'm going to come at you, right? You, if you know me, you know I'm coming for you, right? Okay, so let me stay nice and smile. Because <laughs> you don't want none of this now, do you? No. Good answer. So um, I'll let you know when I'll be back on there. Um, you know, our kids are going back to school now, right? It's dangerous out here. So we want to talk about monitoring our kids, watching their phones. You know, some kids got a Facebook account, they got no business with it. Watch the Snapchat. You got to keep your eyes and your ears open. You got people trying to traffic your kids, right? We can't let that happen, so we can't sleep on our children, you know. They have peer pressures, you know how it is if you have girls and stuff, you know. I, I wish I had one, I don't, but I have my granddaughters and stuff, right? So, we need to um, stay uh, focused and be very aware of what's on our kids' phones, okay? Because a lot of chat rooms, they know, listen, they know how to make up stuff to say they this age and these grown men be on there. It's bad, you know? It's, it's bad out here. And they watching your kids to and from and how they're dressed. Ladies, dress your girls appropriately, okay? Because they listen, they got big booties and everything now at a young age. Dress big as my head. You know, and they want to sashay something. Ain't no sashaying nothing. Sashay your butt in your room. 
Watch your girls. Watch them. Because there's so many predators. Watch your boys now, too, because you got so many undercover people out here. It's just a mess. So, 